How's it going everyone? Cub here. Welcome back to Hermitcraft. Last time we finished up the Guardian Farm. No, we didn't finish up the Guardian Farm. We, we've got it working though. Today we're going to finish up the Guardian Farm. And we also last time moved the Vindicators from XBs, which was quite a big project. Today we're actually going to start off the episode by doing something we attempted to do with Scar in the past. Uh, and that is gather some parrots. But unfortunately the parrots were lost. They're very difficult to move through the jungle. And then when flying around, we came across the Revolution Camp, and the rest is history. So, today we want to return to the jungle and the mesa nearby to retrieve our parrots. I have a screenshot here of the last known location near where we left our parrots. So, we got to go close to those coordinates and hopefully rediscover our parrots. I want to get at least two. I'm thinking I put them, like, on, uh, let me see if I can... Let's see if I have some stuff here. I think I do. I want to put them on iron bars. Yeah, these things right here. Or maybe even glass. Let's get some glass panes out. Where's my, where's my glass? Right here. Uh, glass panes. Oh, we don't have any colored panes. Let's get some colored black glass panes. Also, let's get some purple ones. See how that looks. Let's get some red. Let's just let's just sample all the ones. Why not? Um, right, so glass panes. We'll just do that. Do this. Do that. And the other one is orange. Yeah. All right, let's try this out. Also, let's get some clear ones just to see. Yeah, okay, let's try this out up here. I want them to be, like, on a single pane. Uh, so, like, perched on there, I think would look awesome. Except maybe not that. Let's try the iron bar. Oh, yeah. Oh, baby. Right there. Perched on this thing would be amazing. I think it's going to be tough to get them on there, though. It's only four pixels across. So we could also combine it so we have like an iron bar and then like a glass pane on top. Or you know what would look... Actually, that, is, that looks pretty good, actually. You know what might be better? What if we had an end rod? Straight up right here. That could look amazing. Hang on. That's not the one. This one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. End rods. This might be the ticket right here, guys. This might be the ticket. Get a little bit of light going on. Yeah, this is going to look awesome. All right, so let's take this stuff out. Put the end rods down. Oh, my God, this is perfect perch. Perfect perch. Wait a minute. We could also put this here without connecting. Oh, what if we had them right there? This is amazing. Yep, that's what we're doing. That is what we are doing. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and make our way out to the Mesa. I might try and contact Scar, see if he wants to come and see if he can find his parrots. Um, oh, this is going to be amazing. Just two parrots perched right there. And yeah, that would be, that would be absolutely perfect. That would be absolutely awesome. All right. I'm going to call Scar, see if he wants to come with, and we're going to go see if we can find our parrots. Ladies and gentlemen, look who I found just sitting, waiting at those coordinates, but our good friend, Mr. Green Parrot. I don't have a name for him yet, so I just have to call him Green Parrot. I totally just came up with a name. What, what do you got? Creepy... Creep, hmm, creepy McCreeperson. Creepy McCreeperson. That's a pretty decent name, because actually. He just made a creeper sound, and I, I'm gonna see if I can fish him off your shoulder. <laughs> no, see, it see. didn't work. No, no, nothing. Nah, he, bec <laughs> he becomes a part of me. That's that's what's well, the reason. That's the reason. So yeah, we got one of these guys back. Now we have to. I want to get at least two. So I think we go back to the jungle and get some parrots. We've got to look for your guys too. They're they're somewhere relatively close by I would, I would imagine i would think they are fallen they're fallen eagles cub i don't feel like they have survived what i did to them flying high above outpacing them lost in the jungle these things can't eat for themselves lost in the desert they're, they're thirsty they're hungry i think they're gone for good now we'll have uh, to find new ones yeah yeah okay okay well we'll go back to the jungle i'm gonna take this guy with me and hopefully we can, yeah, then make our way back with parrots this time instead of, you know, getting lost and happening upon the revolution camp and stuff like that. So, Which was kind of amazing, but it is time to bring some of these bad boys home, right? It's time yeah, to bring them home. It's time to bring them home. It's time to bring them home. All right, we'll go, we'll go to the jungle and we'll be back. Scar, I found some birds, man. Do you want to tell them the real story, Cub? Yeah, yeah, so... Because I know you were, you were just to say you didn't want to bring it up, but Cub here, Cub here had a tragic accident with his original, his original parrot. It's very sad. Do you want to tell him, Cub? He suffocated in sand. 
It was very sad. I was going. I was. Creepy. I was investigating something, and yeah, sand updates happened, and it was bad. It was bad. So R.I.P. Creepy McCreeper face. Is that what it was? I don't. I don't remember what it was called. Yes. I just landed on a bird. I've already forgotten him. I got I got amnesia. It was too traumatic. Right. <laughs> you got amnesia. It was too traumatic. The good news <sighs> is, good news is I got dual wheeling parrots now, so I got parrots on both shoulders. So yeah, you said you got something as well. You know what? I just found my original parrot, and it's amazing. We're Did reunited. You... We're best friends forever. Nice. Oh, this is best day. Nice. Yeah, I'm very, gonna try and very, get a very... couple more probably because I want. More than two, more than likely. <laughs> <laughs> because you never know when sand, gravel, or any other catastrophe may fall upon your parrot friends. That's true. That's true. So I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep searching for more. See if we can find some. There's got to be more out here. Okay, Scar. It looks like we got ourselves an army of parrots. Oh, it is a colorful, wonderful army of parrots. That is. Look at these guys. We both got parrot pirates, which is kind of amazing. <laughs> Yeah, I love it. I love yep. it a lot. Yeah, we got the two game Sam. We got the we got the smart gray parrots. Like they were, the the gray parrots are like Alex the parrot. You you, you know about Alex the parrot? No, I do not know Alex the parrot. And he, that one is actually trying to like trim your beard. It's very creepy. Yeah, right? tell him this. There you go. Yeah, there was a piece of bread stuck in there from earlier. But um, yeah, oh, they're, flo they're flocking. They're flocking, man. We got to. Uh, <laughs> We gotta get these guys back to base now, which is gonna be a long trek. We're just le now leaving the jungle, basically. How are we gonna do this, Cub? This is gonna be a nightmare. <laughs> yeah, we gotta we gotta basically walk it because they won't they won't stay on you if you're flying with the elytra. So we gotta walk all the way back to the portal, which is like a long way off. So a long, long way. And these are very, very disoriented fellas. They're they're just flying around. They're really confused, but they're cute. They'll keep us company. Yeah, yeah, they'll keep us company. They'll alert us to any dangers. So hopefully we make it back. They're very, they're very fragile birds, though. So <laughs> we'll try and make it all the way back with all these. All right. So we got. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. I thought I had seven. Uh oh. Nope. There he is. Seven. Okay, right there. All right. It's a little bit disturbing over here, Scar. I got like an exorcism going on over here. There's a witch nearby, and they're all <laughs> laughing maniacally. <laughs> Oh no. I'm, I'm really lost, by the way. I found that parrots cannot swim, so that is a thing. I had to rescue them, got completely off track, and now poor Cub's waiting for me. Ah, uh, no worries, no worries, man. We're gonna we're gonna get it. We're gonna get it through here. I'm not I'm not sure. Hopefully uh, do, do you still have all your parrots? Uh surprisingly I do. You do. Sweet, sweet. Okay, good. Alright, I will uh I will wait here for you and then we will uh hopefully successfully go through the nether portal. We finally made it over to Cub's very creepy little headquarters over here for his parrots. Cub, why is there feathers? Cub? Uh something might have happened where I was trying to shoot a bat and a parrot got in the way. It was an unfortunate accident. They're very These they're, things are making some of the most creepy sounds I have ever heard in Minecraft. Yep, they're whooping for the Enderman, and then they're laughing maniacally for the witches. Yeah, it's pretty... Wow. We, got, we should probably leave this area before, like, a demon appears or something, you know? <laughs> How do we get these things through the portal, by the way? That's a good question. I think if we just walk through, they should teleport through us. Through. Uh, let's just see what happens. Here they come! With their very creepy sounds. Yep. Let's see, here goes... I think here goes okay. one. One, two. Oh, there goes two. Yeah, I think if we just stand like in this area. They should make their way over. I'm hoping. Okay, you bring your guys through, and then once you have them through and clear, then I'll bring mine through. Should work out. Okay. Okay. All right. This is this is the truly scary part up here, though. Just ahead. <laughs> this is the one I'm wide. Worried. The one wide gap. I think the key is Don't just worry. just to keep moving, so they keep teleporting to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't don't worry. I, I got a fishing pole, so we're gonna be good. Ah, nice, nice. But yeah, this is a little bit harrowing. Excuse me, pigman. Thank you. Getting in the way. All right, here we go. No guests. No guests. Yeah, no guests. Yep. I'm just gonna keep going. I'm just gonna assume they're they're teleporting to me. I, I keep hearing them, so that's good. That's a good sign. Oh, I no hear a guest. Shoot, my pirate guy just. 
Oh man, I'm just gonna I'm gonna, I'm just keep going. I'm just gonna keep going. Once I get to a safe spot, I'll turn around. See if there's any gas here. There's fire as okay. well. Uh, okay, I think this is relatively safe. Oh, he's burning! R.I.P. R.I.P. Gray guy. Parrot burned to death. Dang it. <laughs> oh. Son of a gun. All right. What happened to my red guy? Is my red guy still Watch out there? The, there's oh, a uh, water... Not water. Opposite of water. Lava. Water. Or falls. Stop, stop. Oh, gosh. Stop. 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 Stop flying. Stop flying. Stop flying. Sit down. There we go. Stop. Stop. Okay. Keep it a steady pace here. Okay. Okay. We're set. Okay. I got five left. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh! Another parrot gone. Oh, no. no. <laughs> Dang it. Dang it. Okay, Scar. We lost a couple of good parrots on the way here. I think I had seven. Now we're down to four. And they were I, good parrots, Cub. They, they were. They were, they were the best, the finest, the finest. I've collected the remains. I have them here in my inventory. We can even have a parrot funeral maybe later if the viewers would like. It could be a. It's a somber affair, but kind of a, a nice thing to pay tribute to their bravery. Oh yeah, you got it. In, yep, right there. Yep, yep. So man, we still. I still have a long way to go, but uh, you're pretty close now. I think. I think. I think you can handle the rest of the way. And, uh, I think I probably can at this point, just just around the corner through the Pettis spawner, which there's a lot of weird windy staircases out of there. So I'm sure yep. oh, thing. This guy's getting away. Don't don't let that guy get oh, away. He's getting away. There's, there's fire up there. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh. Yeah. All right, Cub. Good parrot hunting with you. We'll see you later. All right, man. Later, man. So guys, of the seven we found in the jungle and tamed, only three of them made it here. We had one shot by myself on accident, and then. Two burned to death and one went up in flames. So, yeah, fire and lava got the best of them. Um, but these guys did make it, so we are going to try and fit two of them on the pedestal. And we might put one down in the base or, uh, I don't know, maybe put it over at the, the trading hall or something. Um, so, let's just go ahead and get some of these guys on our shoulders if we can. We'll have this guy flying as well. And I know that they're probably going to dismount here. But they didn't there for some reason. Okay, <laughs> I'll take it. Uh, okay, there we go. Up like this. Perfect. And now we have him dismount here. Yep, okay. And so we're gonna have this guy sit down, and then we're just gonna push him over. Oh, what happened? Okay, he's on He's on here. Alright, I wonder if we can... Oh, he's... Okay, this is gonna be a challenge to get this. Get these guys on here. Can we walk? Let's see if we can walk between these. Oh, we can walk between these. Okay, fantastic. Um, right, let's do this then. To get this guy on here, we'll jump up, jump up, and then to here, and then boom, sit down. Yeah, look at that. Perfect. Perfectly positioned on this thing. Look at that. That, that is amazing. Right on there, yeah. He'll just rotate right on that little perch, and it'll stay there until we, you know, tell him to stand up and take him with us somewhere. But yeah, this guy also needs to be positioned a little bit better, so let's try and see if we can get this guy as well. All right, we got the red guy here. We're going to try and get him perfectly positioned as well. He was just slightly off earlier, so let's see if we can do that. Right there. Yes. Uh, almost. We might be able to nudge him over a little bit. There we go. That's that's looking better. Let's also, uh, let's also get on this side and do it over here. Just a little bit further this way. There we go. And then one more slight... There we go. Perfect. Yep. Awesome. Got him. Nailed it. He's right on there. Awesome. So there we go, guys. We got our parrot perches right there. Blue parrot and red parrot. Looking out for us. Looking out for him. We got the gray one. We'll put this guy maybe over in the, the trading hall or some, somewhere nearby. Maybe an ocean monument. Yeah. Somewhere nearby where, where he'll uh, fit in. Fit in somewhere. Um, so, I'm gonna just leave this guy right here for now. And yeah, now that we have the parrots, the parrot perches created, we are now ready to, I think, go ahead and go out to the Ocean Monument and work a little bit on the storage area for the farm. Alright guys, so we got our parrots secured over there, and now it's time to work on this Guardian Farm a little bit. At least the, uh, the storage part of this. So, if we come on down here, we should see... Where our stuff is. Yeah, right here. Look at all those guardians right there. Very good, very good. Uh, okay, uh, I think it might be a good idea. 
while I'm doing this to uh, to shut up the farm. So let me shut up the farm and we'll start to make some sort of plan. All right, guys. So I think I figured out what I'm going to do here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to, first of all, make this wall out to about here. So essentially what I want to have happen is we'll have pressure plates down here. When we step on the pressure plates, the trap doors, which will initially be like this, and we might need to put like a like a redstone block down to make sure that they're powered. We want them then to push forward and close so they go into like this state right here. Um, so that will basically lock us in and we'll remain locked in until we leave the area, at which point we'll have to just, you know, we'll be in here, we'll open this up, walk out, and then the trapdoor should retract from this state to this state. So that's what we want to do with the trapdoors. Then we want to bring hoppers into the equation to transport the guardian drops. So we're going to have the guardian drops transferred to the left and to the right. Then we'll have a dropper elevator somewhere over here. Takes them up and it goes into a water stream, which circles around. And the water stream will basically go over top of item filters. And then the item filters will filter everything down into the appropriate uh, shulker box storage system. So that is the plan. All right, guys. So we got the trapdoor portion of this thing working. So... Yeah, essentially what we wanted is the trapdoors to start off like this, and then once we get in here, they should close behind us, locking us in, and then we can open them, uh, you know, when we're, when we're done, and then walk back, and they should open up back into this state. So let's see if we got that going on here. So we walk on in, just like this. Boom, they close, they lock us in, and then we come back out. Boom, they go back to the initial state. And I think I timed it, let's just see, if we run in here. Yep, they lock behind us. We open the doors. And then, boom, they just go right back. That's cool, huh? That's pretty awesome. So, yeah, we actually had to work around the fact that trap doors, when pushed, do not update their state. So we had to have this little extra redstone piece right here with the, uh, yeah, the inverted uh, redstone torch, which provides the update to the trap doors. Uh, if you don't do that... You run into this problem, so the problem is, and I think I found this before in season in season four and in the Let's Play, but basically, uh, let me just show you here again. So, if you have a trapdoor that's powered, right, you extend it, it's still being powered. It doesn't recognize that it's not um, it's not still connected to this torch, basically. So you have to provide a redstone update like that, and that basically will cause it to recognize it's not being powered anymore. So, yeah, kind of an interesting little little quirk there. But, yeah, had to work around that, and I think we did a pretty good job of that. So, yeah, that's the trapdoor portion of this done. Next thing I think we're going to do is the item distribution system. So we'll have to put some hoppers underneath of the enchantment tables there, and then make our distribution system. All right, guys, so we got our item distribution system up and working. Let me explain how it works. So it's pretty straightforward. First of all, we have hoppers underneath the enchantment tables right here. And because these enchantment tables are not full blocks, they will actually, the hoppers will actually pick up the items on top of the enchantment tables. They then whisk the items off in two different directions, uh, but they both work the same way. So we have some droppers in here. If I put anything into the dropper, it will get dispensed and sent upwards uh, because it, if you dispense an item into blocks, then it'll go through the blocks up to a water stream on top. Water stream goes all the way around the outside here and then we'll transport the item into the appropriate chest. So, um, yeah, you can see back here we also have item filters for the guardian drops. So this is one example here. This is, let's see, this is crystals, prismarine crystals. Um, and so... Yeah, let me go ahead and just uh, put this back here. We're going to fill this in at the moment. Uh, this ice stream, this right here is where the water stream is, right on top of that. And so let's just go ahead and fill all this in back here, fill all this in back here, fill all this in back here, because we're not going to need it. Fill this in, and we'll fill this in too. There we go, perfect. And then we'll just do this, do that, and... Do that. Perfect. Okay. Um, so let me just show you. Here is the prismarine brick we placed in. So it came all the way around. And so we have 
This one, I believe, is prismarine shards. This is prismarine crystals. And this is raw fish in this uh, hopper right here. So let's go ahead and test this thing out. So let's grab a little bit of everything here. So let me just dump off a few things here. So we'll grab a few shards. Let's grab like 12 shards. We'll grab 10 crystals. Let's grab some raw fish. Let's grab 10 raw fish. There we go. And then we'll just put like 10 slabs in, let's say. Yeah, okay, so we'll do that. So let's put in half in here, so half in there, and then the other half right in here. And we should see right here the shards coming in, very good. We should see the crystals coming in down here. Yes, okay. Should see the fish coming in over here. Yep, fish is rolling in. Very nice. I think we had 10 fish. Yep, there we go. And then we have over here the sort of catch-all. So this is going to be the salmon, the puffer fish. Uh, occasionally an ink sack might come in here. And also the guardian heads. And there's our stone slabs right there. And just to show you the other ones also worked. We got 12 shards and then 10 crystals right over here. Sweet. All right. So that is how that works. So yeah, pretty decent system uh, with the water stream and everything. Uh, working quite well and yeah now we have to just go ahead and come on in here and just put all this stuff back and make sure nothing connects with anything else um, so let's just do like this and then we'll do the same thing over here just fill this in so yeah now that that is done we can now start to think about some other things we want to put into the room because the storage system is done now uh, once I put everything back here the farm uh, will be you know working again we can you know, slay the guardians again here. And I'm thinking, so I definitely want a nether portal down here. I also want an enchantment table. And I think I want like a full enchantment table. That would be pretty cool. Although I'm, I might want one where you can like dial the level. That would be pretty cool too. Um, so yeah, we definitely need two of those things. We need to finish the decoration in here. So we need to add a roof. We need to add a floor. And yeah, still a lot to do here. So let me go ahead and... Put all this stuff back here. Uh, I need to grab some stone, I think. Yeah, here we go. Um, so we'll go ahead and put all this stuff back here and then see what else we're going to do. All right, guys. So we went ahead and expanded our room here a little bit. So we have room to put like another portal on this wall, for instance. I think that's where we'll put it. So you enter in here and you can just, you know, have pretty much a straight shot all the way to the Guardian Farm. We also added an enchantment table here, but it's not... Oh, wait a minute. That's right. We put it in the floor. Check this out. So. Dun, 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 dun. I feel like there should be dramatic music playing. But yeah, we put a hidden enchantment table in the floor. So, yeah, this is a max level enchantment table. And, you know, we can jump in here, jump back out if we want to. Um, enchant whatever we want to. And then, you know, just as easily as it appeared, it will then disappear as well. And the animation here is also pretty cool. There we go. <laughs> so, that is our appearing and disappearing enchantment table. I'll just show you again. We've got buttons on both sides that control it. So, we can open and close it from either side, which is very nice. So, this will definitely help out. And will definitely, um, yeah, will definitely be useful in uh, our guardian farm to get a bunch of XP and enchant gear if we need to. So, that's fantastic. Um, so, let me just quickly show you the redstone behind this, because it's actually a fairly big redstone project here. Um, so, down here, this is all the redstone behind it, right here. See all the different timings, and pistons, and <laughs> pulse length, and stuff like that. Uh, this was initially created by the Gunmaster, uh, is the guy's name who made this. Um, so, yeah, go and check his video out if you want to see how to build it. Um... But yeah, it's kind of a complex build. There's a lot of precise timings you have to get exactly right. Otherwise, it will fail. But yeah, if you get it right, it looks really, really cool. And yeah, I really like it. So there we have it. Hidden enchantment table in the floor. And now what we need to do, we're going to put down the nether portal. Nether portal is going to be significantly um, less redstone intensive than the enchantment table is here. And we want to also, I think, make some other type of pattern on the floor. I'm thinking maybe the guardian beam, like, going back and forth here would be cool on the floor. And then on the ceiling, I think we want to have a giant, like, guardian eye up here looking down through, like, glass, perhaps. 
think that could also be pretty cool. So, um, let me go ahead and make some of that stuff happen, and I'll be right back. Well, 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 ladies and gentlemen, it looks like we got ourselves a guardian head. So, been working the farm a little bit, trying to repair some tools and stuff like this pick, and we ended up getting a guardian head while we did that, so that's fantastic. So that one we can check off the list. Also, we got our nether portal up, so we are in the cub hub right now. So this is our main island portal right here, which you guys are probably familiar with. Um, so the guardian farm portal is right down here, and let's go ahead and go through it. Show you how it works. So, come on down here. There we go. Here is the portal, and there it goes. So, you see, as we come through the portal, as soon as we walk over these pressure plates, a dispenser over here will fire and then pick the water right back up. And so that results in the portal being broken immediately. And that means there won't be any pigmen down here. There won't be any... Uh, you know, uh, nether mobs that can come through that portal or anything. Uh, I don't think that would be a, a, an issue anyway, but we didn't want pigman and portal sounds, so yeah, we got that. Uh, we also have this button to go back to the nether, so all we gotta do is wait for the water to go away. Takes just a moment, hit the button, and the portal lights. And then we go through to the other side. So that is our portal right there. Just go back through one more time. So that's pretty useful, works quite well, works quite well. There we go. We also got a beacon down here. So this is a max level beacon. We got haste two on here. And we also have spots for up to three more beacons at this uh, this farm here. So I'm probably gonna add a regen beacon and also uh, probably, yeah, probably speed and let's see, we got haste, regen, and then maybe uh, resistance or something like that to help with the, the guardians and everything. But, uh, yeah, we also got these guys on the sides here. We got some vines growing in some spots. We got uh, item frames now up as decoration, sort of telling us what uh, items are in which shulker boxes. And I think I want to make these shulker boxes light blue. I just got them as purple right now. But I think I'm going to make them light blue. Here's our crystal one. Crystal one's right there. And then we got our prismarine shards right here. So this one's actually almost full. This one will be breaking soon. Um, right, so yeah, then we have more item frames over here. We got puffer fish and salmon in here. Not sure why there are prismarine shards in here. That's very strange. We'll have to look into that. Uh, but these these will pick up the, the rare drops. Um, so the salmon, the puffer fish, uh, maybe an ink stack or two occasionally if there's squid that spawn in up there. Um, so, yeah, that's that. Um, right, and we also put down on the floor little bit of a design here so we got yeah like a it's supposed to be like a guardian beam here I'm not really sure I like it or not yet I don't know let me know what you guys think let me know what you guys think uh, anyways basically the only thing we have left now is the roof and actually you know what we're gonna put this guardian head right on here we also got these armor stands that have like guardian armor on here so <laughs> that looks pretty cool so um, yeah we need to do the top bit so what I'm thinking I'm thinking we have these sort of like wood pillars here. These will be like supporting, I want to say like bricks maybe. Let's let's see. I think I have, I don't have bricks on me, but maybe bricks up here is like a border. And then we're like looking into a tank here with a big guardian looking down on us. I think that's what I'm going to go for. So we're going to have like bricks around here that support the tank. And then this will be like the ultimate support for the tank right here. This sort of structure here. And then, yeah, blue glass, I think. And then, yeah, giant guardian looking straight down at us. I think that could be, that could be cool. <laughs> oh, looking nice. Looking really nice. Check it out. So, we got our bricks down on the side. I think this complements the dark oak wood beautifully. Really nicely complements it. And then, of course, we got our glass on the top here. Uh, now, we just got to fill in what's behind the glass. So, I actually got to tower up. And start to dig out that a big area up here. And so again, we want a big guardian here with the eye looking right at us. So that's what we're going for here. So let's go ahead and make it happen. Alright guys, so we're about a quarter way through this top build here. So you can see down into the farm right over here. And so I've put glass down all along the top. And we're also going to build up the sides, the roof. And we're going to put the like sort of mini guardians in here. We'll probably put, I think, maybe three... 
three or four mini guardians, maybe like some sugar cane in some areas as well, um, as like kelp. Uh, I think that would look pretty cool. Uh, we can't really go up much higher than this or to the sides because the water streams on the sides and the farm itself, uh, where some of the guardians fall is right here. Um, so we can't really go much bigger than this. Um, but yeah, what we're doing now is we are just building up the sides. We got some blue concrete powder on the side. So I think this should be like a really nice uh, bluish background. So it'll make the room look a little bit bigger than it actually is. So I'm going to keep going here and I'll be back once I'm done. All right, guys. So another little update here. We now have this top part mostly complete. Um, you can see we got some guardians in sort of miniature form here um, so that they, yeah, can fit in this tank completely, basically. Uh, we couldn't actually fit the giant um, pixel for pixel recreation in this because it's too small. So I went ahead and went with like a miniature tank. So we got four guardians in here. One of them shooting a laser beam out. And so, yeah, that's what that is. And we put gravel around the outside in a little ring to make it look like they are they are on the ocean floor because the ocean floor is made totally of gravel. We also put in some kelp, which are sugar canes. We got some bubbles, which are these cobwebs. We got some, you know, just general growth on the ocean floor in the form of these bushes. And we got some treasure and things like that as well, just to sort of break it up a little bit. Um, so that's where we're at right now. And we're also, if you notice, we have blue stained glass here. We're going to try the fog technique here. So we're basically alternating layers of glass. So like one is here, next one will be like right here. And this should create the illusion of like a fog. So we want it to be like we are at the very bottom of the ocean and it's really foggy as we go up because you can't, you know, down this low you can't really see... Uh, sunlight. So, um, that's what we're going for right now. Uh, right here, uh, these are enchantment tables up here. We had to figure out a way to dissipate the light uh, while also allowing a beacon to go through um, to, the, to, the, to the sky, basically. And so what we did is we put enchantment tables up here and then leaves on top of the enchantment tables. So, that is what that is in case you guys were wondering right there. Um, so, yeah, now that we're done with the explanation here, I'm ready to go ahead and keep on putting down this glass here so we can get this full fog effect. And we're also going to take out all these lights because, yeah, we want to make sure that it's all nice and eerie and nice and mysterious, dark and mysterious. Um, so, let's go ahead and do that, and I'll go ahead and fill in the glass, and I'll be back. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and go on through and see what our... Guardian Farm collection area looks like. So, come on through here. There's the beacon. We just walk on through. There we go. Portal disappears behind us. Very good. And so here is what the top bit looks like. Check it out. Wow, I like how this looks. This is amazing. So, yeah, you can see how it's sort of like, you know, it's all like, you're like we're like at the bottom of the ocean looking up at the Guardians. This looks fan freaking tastic, I gotta say. I gotta say. Really, really digging it. You can just barely make out, like on the edges, some stuff, like some bubbles coming up, some uh, some seaweed or some kelp growing up from the uh, the ocean bottom. Yeah, yeah, this is looking awesome. Yeah, we got the Guardian here swimming. We got the Guardians here looming out of the darkness. This guy shooting the laser beam out this direction. Yeah, it looks amazing. It looks amazing. And you can't you can't even see... Like where the beacon goes through the enchantment tables up there, you can't even see that. It's all like shrouded as if it's like, you know, water is, is covering this whole area. So I am really liking this. I am really liking this. Um, and then, yeah, of course, we got all the functionality. We got the portal uh, that breaks when we come through. We got the enchantment table over here. Pops out of the floor, of course. Just like so. Bada boom. And then, of course, it goes away as well. Just if we hit the button one more time. There we go. Perfect. Alright, so there's that. Uh, I put a few more uh, item frames up for some of the other rare items we get. Uh, we put in some uh, ender chests on here. And of course we now have the light blue... The light blue shulker boxes in here. You see some prismarine shards making its way in here. And, yeah, you can see there are some things coming in here. This is actually a passive automatic farm because of the entity cramming <laughs> so you can hear some of these guardians occasionally dying and that's why we're getting a few 
uh, prismarine shards in here. And so we should have a few shulker boxes queued up. Yep, a few of them queued up. Uh, I already cleared out this this one because this one fills up pretty quick. Uh, this one we have one shulker box and some more crystals coming in here. Got our raw fish coming in here. Very good, very good. Raw fish in there. And then we probably don't have too many of these rare drops. And again, put the prismarine shard. I'm not sure why. Occasionally one or two prismarine shards gets in that chest, but in all honesty... I'm not really too concerned about it, so... Yeah, there we go, and then of course, you know, this thing... Come up here, this locks us in just like that. And we just slay away. Just like this, and we get a lot of XP... Very, 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 very quickly. So we can repair our tools and stuff, and yeah. Then once we're done, come on out. Trap doors go go away, and I really like the aesthetic here, how these trap doors move when we come in and out. So that is that, and yeah, that's the Guardian Farm, the bottom portion at least, fully complete. Um, so, yeah, do let me know what you guys think about it, and yeah, I'm, I'm really digging it. I really like this upper part. This sort of ties the whole thing together, really makes it look super special, so... Anyways, guys, um, yeah, for next time, we'll probably get a few more beacons down here. So we have the full uh, four four beacons going on. Um, so we can have, you know, regen and strength to, uh, to help us with the Guardian so we don't take quite as much damage. But, guys, I think that will be it for me today. So, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please do leave a like. Make sure to subscribe for more videos like this. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been Cub. Goodbye.